In 2012, I was the first person to introduce the Leica A60F to the jewelry and engraving industry. About five years later, I introduced the Leica S9i, a premier teaching and documentation microscope. Now, I'm introducing the Leica S9D with Engraver.com's View 4K Special Edition camera for jewelers, stone setters, and engravers. It's for professionals who are serious about marketing, documenting their work, recording video, live streaming, and in-depth training. The Leica S9D is a premium microscope with many similarities to the S9i. It has a zoom range of 6 to 55, Leica's fusion optics for great depth of field, and apochromatic lenses for industry-leading clarity and color correction. Unlike the S9i, the S9D has a port where you can add your own camera instead of having a built-in camera. What's new is our 4K camera. We've developed a camera to add to the S9D, which makes the most of the microscope's abilities. With this camera, you have a 4K resolution for display and recording video, 8 megapixel camera for still shots, on-screen controls for adjusting the camera with no computer needed, an HDMI port, two USB ports, one Type 2 and one Type 3, a LAN Ethernet port, an SD memory card port, and built-in software for measurement and documentation. It's like a graphics overlay program right inside your camera. Before we ship a camera to the customer, we adjust the 4K camera to settings that will be most helpful for jewelers and engravers. That means when you set up the microscope and camera the first time, it will be optimized and ready to go, with the possible exception of some tweaking for local light conditions. Setting up the camera is simple. You install the camera in the Leica S9D with a camera mount. Then plug the included power source into both the camera and the wall. Also, plug in the included mouse for controlling the camera's features. If you want, you can use your own wireless mouse. Then press the on button and bingo, you're ready to go. If you connect the camera to an HDMI TV or monitor, you'll see this little arrow in the center of your view. Use the mouse to move the arrow to one side. The first thing you'll notice about this view is the full side-to-side -side image that shows what you are looking at under the microscope. Because of the letterbox dimensions of monitors, some of the top and bottom will be cropped, but the vast majority of what you see on the scope will be captured in the display, in video and in pictures. If you get a little vignetting because the screen picks up the edges of your light or polarizer, simply move the mouse to the bottom of the screen to show the screen controls. We have already pre-selected controls to give you the best picture for what jewelers and engravers will use, but you can change them. To digitally increase magnification of the camera, click on the plus icon. A single click will increase the camera zoom by a factor of 0.2. You can increase digital zoom all the way up to a factor of 10. Usually one or two clicks is all you need to get rid of any unwanted vignetting. The minus icon will step zoom down by a factor of 0.2. The other screen control icons allow you to flip the image either horizontally or vertically. Useful if you hook your camera to a projector. The CG icon changes the screen from color to grayscale. The black square icon freezes the image on a screen. The hashtag icon lets you put up a grid pattern, useful for designing or teaching. The PIP icon turns on picture in picture for highlighting an area of the screen. The WDR, or wide dynamic range icon, is useful if you have an object that creates a lot of glare or you have poor lighting. This view sharpens your picture to eliminate glare so you can see details and edges better. To give you an idea of how useful this can be, I'm also going to use the camera's Compare Image function, the next icon on the menu. Here you can see the difference between the live view of the image under the microscope on the left and an image taken when the camera was in WDR mode on the right. You get a split screen view which can be synchronized and moved, giving you views to easily compare. If you move the cursor to the left, the camera control panel pops up. 
At the top of the panel are two big buttons, one for snapping pictures and the other for recording video. Snapping pictures is self-explanatory. Images will be saved either to an SD card or a USB drive, depending on what you select. When you click record, a counter will show up in the lower right corner. The camera will record whatever happens under the microscope, along with any measurements or drawings you make during recording. To stop recording, just click the record button again. The rest of the settings in this panel you shouldn't have to worry about. These are settings we adjust before sending the camera to you. We also send you a gray card for getting true colors if your lighting conditions change or you need a different white balance to get true colors. If you move the cursor to the top edge of the screen, you get the documentation panel. This is where you go to draw lines, add labels, and make measurements live on the screen. Like the camera control panel, there's a little pin icon in the upper left corner that you can use to lock the panel on the screen while you use it. This is really helpful when you are learning to use these tools. The visible checkbox turns the documentation tools on and off. The next two boxes in the documentation panel are related to calibration. When you get a Leica S9D, objective lens or lenses, and a 4K camera from us at engraver.com, we calibrate your camera to the microscope and objective lenses that you buy. The first drop down is the units box. Most of the time you'll have that on millimeters, but you can also select other units like inches or pixels, depending on what you're working with. The next drop down is the magnification box. Here's where you choose the magnification of the microscope you are viewing while using the drawing tools. In this example, this microscope is calibrated for the 0.63 objective lens, and each stop represents a click value on the zoom dial. Calculating the actual zoom requires you to multiply the stop factor by the magnification factor of the eyepieces, which is usually 10, and the objective lens. So in this case, you would be using the microscope with a 0.63 lens, a stop of 0.6, and that would give you a real magnification of 3.78 times. Don't worry, we'll give you calibration instructions and a table of values on the back of the gray card we ship with each microscope. For the most precise measurements, you should recalibrate every time you install a camera or change a lens. The settings we provide for you are a great starting point and will result in pretty accurate numbers until you calibrate on your own. Once your camera is calibrated, the rest of the tools work like a charm. You can measure angles, create reference points, draw lines, measure distances, measure round stones and the distance between center points, create shapes, and add labels. These are great tools for teaching, design, documenting jewelry taken in for repairs, estimating jobs. The possibilities are practically endless. Once you've drawn what you want on screen, simply click snap for a picture or record for a video to preserve your work. Getting back to the camera itself, the USB 3 port on the camera has multiple uses. You can insert a USB drive into the port to record pictures and video. You can also insert the included Wi-Fi USB adapter so people can wirelessly connect on a smartphone or tablet using the free TubeView app. You can also use the USB 3 port to connect directly to a PC that will recognize the camera as a webcam. This camera is not yet Mac compatible, but we're working on it. All of this means there are multiple ways to record or stream live video captured by the camera. One final advantage to this camera is that capturing 4K video is incredibly useful if you're going to edit your video, even if you don't plan on making 4K movies. Capturing in 4K means you can zoom in and follow objects in the editing process at HD resolutions for flowing, seamless videos where the graver tip or subject never gets lost or moves too far from the center of the screen without compromising picture clarity. If you're going to record video to produce demonstrations, teaching, or marketing materials later, upgrading to the 4K now would be an excellent choice. 
The Leica S9D and Engraver.com View 4K Jeweler Stone Setter Engraver Special Edition camera are on sale now at a variety of packages at Engraver.com. This is a premium studio setup for serious professionals. The S9D is a great way to future-proof your microscope. You can even buy the S9D now and get the camera later when your business grows. For more information, you can contact us through our website, Engraver.com's Facebook page, Instagram at hashtag PulseGraver, or the Tier Mitchell channel on YouTube. We look forward to setting you up with the perfect microscope that meets your needs.